place that reminds sports fans that not all the great plays and exciting action happens down on the field. Sometimes it happens up in the broadcast booth, and that's what we believe, folks. We like to put the focus, the attention on the sports announcers. That's our passion. That's our drive. That's what we love about sports is, uh, is the sports announcers. Hey, I got my favorite players, my favorite teams, God knows. But it's the sports announcers. Those are the guys that always drew me uh, to the action. Uh, and the drama of sports, uh, and uh, we love talking to these guys, we love talking about it, so uh, welcome aboard wherever you're seeing us or hearing us, whether it's on YouTube or sportscasterchronicles.com or whatnot, uh, welcome, and uh, thanks for being here. A uh, lot going on in the world of sports, uh, basketball, the NBA, college, uh, the WNBA, uh, in full swing, uh, same thing with hockey. Uh, we got the Winter Olympics coming up in a couple weeks in uh, February in Vancouver, Canada, British Columbia. Uh, but uh, it's the NFL playoffs on tap now, folks, and that's going to be our focus on today's show and our very special guest, uh, Dave Pash, who is the uh, radio voice of the Arizona Cardinals. He will be joining us next segment to talk NFL football and uh, the Packers and the Cardinals will be wrapping up the weekend, the last game on Sunday afternoon, a 4.30 Eastern kickoff uh, from uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Stadium. So we'll be talking to Dave Pash. But uh, before we talk to Dave, let's do a little news and notes, ladies and gentlemen. That's a segment we like to do here on Sportscaster Chronicles. Uh, we talk about uh, what's going on uh, in and out of uh, the world of uh, sports, sports announcers and uh, news, topical stuff going on. A couple things. First of all, some deaths, sadly, have taken two great voices uh, of, uh, from the world of sports announcing. Uh, George Michael is the first one we want to talk about. George Michael, a local sports uh, anchor in uh, Washington, D.C., and the NBC affiliate WRC for years and years and years, dating back to, the, I think it was the mid-late 70s, George came on board. Uh, in Washington at WRC and uh, was a great local voice, great sports announcer, great smile, great sense of humor, uh, but is known nationally, was known nationally for his syndicated uh, uh, highlight show, The Sports Machine. He pushed that big button, let's check out the highlights, uh, you know, the rodeo, the drag racing. He was into that wacky stuff, uh, rodeo, uh, which is huge now, uh, partly because of George Michael. And uh, George kind of was the forerunner to ESPN Sports Center, which uh, started before George's Sports Machine did, but it wasn't in every home in America like it is today. But uh, the Sports Machine was, and it gave everybody a chance to see uh, highlights from games and uh, that they wouldn't see in their local area. So uh, we say goodbye to George. He will be missed. Of course, George had some controversy around his name. Uh, checkbook journalism, uh, meaning he used to pay players and coaches uh, for access. And he wasn't the first guy to do that, but he was the first guy to really make it syndicated because he uh, he created a conglomeration, kind of teamed up with Daniel Snyder, the much maligned Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins. George got great access to Redskin Park, the locker room, the players, the coaches, Joe Gibbs, you name it, boom, uh, because of that. you know. And then when Snyder came in, he just took it to a whole new level, really was uh, gave everything to George, and, and uh, that ticked off a lot of the other uh, uh, sports announcers and reporters in Washington, but uh, George uh, had his detractors, but he was clearly respected and liked by just about everybody, so again, he's going to be missed. Uh, we also want to recognize and uh, talk about the passing of Rory Marcus. Rory was a friend of ours here on Sportscaster Chronicles. He gave us an interview a couple of years ago. You can check it out on sportscasterchronicles.com and go to our archives, see the Rory Marcus interview from March of 2007, Rory did uh, L.A. Uh, Angels uh, baseball on the radio side since 2002 and was also the voice of uh, USC basketball. And uh, uh, Rory had some health issues in recent years, uh, but he was a young guy, 54 years old, and he has left us. So that's uh, sad news that we're passing along. And uh, he will. there will be tough shoes to fill at courtside of USC basketball games and uh, up in the booth. Uh, in Anaheim. So uh, we say goodbye to George Michael and Rory Marcus. Uh, some lighter notes. Um, ESPN, if they don't have enough going on, guess what they're doing now, folks? They're starting a new television network, and it's in 3D. 
or it's going to be in 3D. Uh, they're trying to coattail, I guess, off the big Avatar, the James Cameron film, which is out now, very popular. Uh, it's eye candy up the wazoo. It's crazy if you haven't seen it. But uh, ESPN will be launching a brand new uh, a, uh, ESPN uh, 3D television network this summer w around the World Cup. Uh, South Africa and Mexico, they will launch when things are kicking off there in that match. So it's going to be expensive. If, uh, if, uh, if you got a lot of money, uh, then I guess you can check it out. If, don't, uh, if you don't, uh, you should probably wait because they're going to see it for launch it for a year, see how it goes. But they are uh, they're targeting that high-end market of people that got a lot of dough and like to throw around their FU money at sporting events. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Winter Classic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, many of you checked it out on New Year's Day uh, a couple weeks ago, or last week rather, uh, from Fenway Park. The Bruins hosted the Philadelphia Flyers. Great game, great sport. I love hockey. Uh, love Doc Emmerich on the mic uh, for the Peacock. Uh, the great work, as, as he always does. Uh, but uh, ratings were down, and that's kind of giving everybody pause. Oh, my God, the Winter Classic's over, and uh, you know the novelty's worn off, and what's going to happen to it? Relax. Uh, it was down, I think, 10% in viewing, but uh, you know it still made money. Uh, not a lot of money, but $15 million in profit they brought in in uh, ticket sales and merchandising and advertising on NBC. So that's all that anybody in the suits care about. It's just money. It's profit, and uh, it showed profit. So they'll 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 do it again, and they're getting smart. They're going to showcase Alex Ovechkin next year. That's the word. Uh, and the word is uh, maybe Yankee Stadium, Rangers, and uh, the Caps at Yankee Stadium. We'll see how that goes because the, the Yankee Stadium has uh, bowl games now scheduled around New Year's and the Christmas. Uh, who knows? But uh, we'll see how that all plays out. But the Caps, they're going to try to squeeze them in and milk this guy because he's a great player and a new captain of the Washington Capitals too. So there you have that. Uh, last thing I want to talk about quickly is uh, what's been going on in the L.A. Clippers uh, broadcast booth, the TV end. Uh, Ralph Lawler, who is a classy, legendary, 35 years plus of doing the NBA, he does Clipper games. God God bless him. And his, uh, his uh, color commentator, uh, a guy named uh, Michael Smith, who was an NBA player, uh, they've been working together for a while, uh, they got in a little hot water last, uh, I guess it was about two weeks ago now, uh, an Iranian player, uh, Hamad Haddadi. Uh, they apparently, allegedly said some off-color, insensitive remarks, which is really total BS, folks. If you if, Go back and check this out on the Internet. YouTube it, uh, and it's just, it's total crap because, the, you know, they were just goofing around. They didn't really say anything uh, offensive, but one viewer, one viewer sent an email saying he didn't like the way that Michael Smith pronounced the word Iran, you know, stressing I ran. He thought he was being, you know, insensitive and, uh, and uh, you know, playing upon, you know, uh, our, uh, our State Department's adversarial uh, take on Iran and, uh, you know, terrorism and everything. It was total, total crap. But uh, anyway, they got suspended for one game. Uh, but uh, Michael Smith has been back in the news. He has been brought up on charges of fraud and some uh, uh, real estate deal gone bad. He has uh, claimed that he is innocent and he is claiming not guilty uh, and has actually has not been suspended as far as we know. So uh, Michael Smith making some news outside of the uh, uh, Hamad uh, Dadi remarks he made uh, a week or two ago. All right, folks, that's news and notes uh, when we come back. Uh, it's going to be Dave Pash will be our guest. Hang tight. Don't go away.